Hey guys, Jarek26 here. Hey, just a quick and easy guide of how to install and quickly set up the Arc DPS DPS meter for Guild Wars 2. Um, if you have both DirectX 9 or DirectX 11, I've seen a few guides showing how to do it. If you do it um, using it, uh, downloading it and installing it for DirectX 9, but you're using DirectX 11, it's probably not going to work. So this is what you want to do. You want to go to the deltaconnected.com Arc DPS website, which is here. You could even just Google Arc DPS Guild Wars 2. It's going to come right up. Um, and it actually gives you a quick overview of how to do it. Um, you should take a quick look at this. At the bottom is where you're going to download what you need. So click this. You're going to download this file here, d3d9.dll. If it says yada yada, this can harm your computer, hit keep. And then you're going to take it for wherever wherever you download it to. I did it in downloads. You're going to take this file and you're going to put it in your Giller's folder bin 64 if you're using DirectX 9. So you can place it right here. Um, if you downloaded Guild Wars normally, it's going to be under Program Files, Guild Wars 2, bin 64. Um, if not, like like I did, and you put it somewhere else, um, just navigate to that folder and stick it here. If you have a hard time fi finding it, you can even right click on the uh, Guild Wars 2 icon. That's on your desktop. Open File Location. It's going to bring you to Guild Wars 2. Open file location again, click on bin 64, stick it right there. Uh, so that's what you can do um, to get it to work for DirectX 9. If you're using DirectX 11, there's something uh, different you gotta do. You gotta take this and you're gonna stick it right here in the Guild Wars 2 folder, not in the bin 64. So you can put it right here. And there's one other thing you're gonna have to do, as I did here, is you're gonna have to change this, rename this, rename, to you're going to rename the the D9 to D11. That's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, then when we come back in game, you're going to hit Shift Alt T, and it's going to bring up your options window for it if it was done properly. Like I said before, if you did it. Um, if you put it in the bin 64 folder and you're using DirectX 11, you didn't rename it, this is not going to work. So I see a lot of people having the issue that they're doing it for the DirectX 9 way and they're logging in, they're hitting Alt-Shift-T, nothing's popping up. You have to do it, uh, put it into the uh, previous folder and you have to rename it like I showed you, uh, D11, not D9. Uh, quickly, just to show you how to set this up, nothing nothing too in-depth. There's plenty of uh, long videos in-depth showing how to do this. Really easy. You're going to click on, uh, on the interface, the different windows that you want up. So the, the main damage one, area stats right here. Or you could have buffs, whatever you want. You click it. If you want to uh, customize appearance, it's very robust system for customizing the appearance that you want to do. I'm going to leave it as the default. And then you could right click the different windows that you have open and you could customize them further. Persist, how long do you want the, uh, the meter to uh, persist for? Or there is um, advanced stats and I have mine on default for now. You could click any of these and switch it to um, how much big bark damage you had, cleanses, etc. So that's it guys, quick easy way of uh, installation of the Arc DPS meter and how to get it to work if you're using uh, DirectX 11 versus DirectX 9. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Y'all take care.